My name is Serena, and we're going to teach about music here, and Daddy's going to play the... Guitar. Guitar. Okay. And the, In the key of E. And the key of E. Major. Major. And what I do whenever I write songs is, I basically I record scratch tracks, and the scratch tracks give me a good idea of which direction I'm going, especially for what? my guitar solo se section. Oh. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some bass lines down. I'm in the key of C sharp minor or E major. E major and C sharp minor are the same keys. One's minor, one's major, but they share the same notes. So what I'm going to do is play a bass line down based around a C sharp minor chord to an E major chord to a B major chord. And a lot of the problems with when you uh, take lessons over the internet or with videos is they show you these great tricks and all these acrobatic kind of moves on the guitar, but they don't tell you how to pertain it to music, which is a chord progression. What does your band member play while you play these lead guitar parts? Well, I'm going to kind of show you that. And uh, my approach here is now showing you when I'm playing a C sharp to an E to a B over this chord progression. So I'm going to do it, record it, and then I'm going to loop it. Well, this is based around C sharp minor, only because my first chord is a C sharp minor. Then I go to an E major to a B major. So what I want to do is I, I kind of want to make it so my C sharp minor chord, which is a minor chord, is going to go over a major sound. So a lot of people put C sharp minor and say, I'll play C sharp pentatonic. That's not my style. My style approaches it the opposite. I'll take a minor and then I'll play a lead major, or I'll play a major chord. And play a minor arpeggio. And the idea is just to get a different tone out of it because most people go minor to minor, major to major, and I kind of flip that. So, what I'd like to do is show you a run that I came up with. And that's based around an E major 7. It's based around an E major 7 arpeggio. So what I'd like to do is see if that works. So what I'll do is I'll write a little section of a lead based around an arpeggio and then try to fit that into a phrase that works within the chord movement. So I'm going to go through that slowly. What I do is I take an E major 7th arpeggio. The notes in E major 7, E, G sharp, B, D sharp. So I start on the E note. And the beauty about this E note is it's the minor third of a C sharp. Daddy, I can't see your hand, so. Oh, I'm sorry. It's because I can't see it. Okay, you're watching too much of iCarly, Serena. Okay, so what I do is I take my C sharp minor chord, that third, which is the E, I really want to make obvious. So what I do is I take my E major seventh arpeggio over a C minor seventh, which is very, very relative. E major 7th over that, and then when I play the E, I can continue with my, my run, but then I go to my C sharp minor, and then end on a B, and then go up to an E. So this run works perfectly over this particular Daddy, run. it's wiggling your booby. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's my shirt. This is the key of E major C sharp minor. These are the main keys. C sharp minor. Say C sharp minor. 
C sharp minor.